show where the Typhoon Haiyan is expected to land in the Philippines. It looks like it's going to go right over the top of Little Malapasqua. Um, the red line is the uh, the average track of all the other tracks uh, and the most expected route it's going to follow. And unfortunately, it's going right through the middle of Malapasqua. Um, this is a super typhoon. Uh, it's now a category five typhoon. Um, the latest uh, have rated at 150 knots and gusts of 180 knots. And on the uh, Sapphire Simpson scale, um, it says catastrophic damage will occur. A high percentage of framed homes will be destroyed with total roof failure and wall collapse. Fallen trees and power lines will isolate residential areas. Power outages, outages will last for weeks to possibly months. Most of the area will be uninhabitable for, for weeks or months. And um, to get an idea of what that might look like, uh, here's a Category 1 hurricane, a few leaves falling off the trees. I live in Dumaguete and uh, we recently had a Category 2 hurricane hit us, which is what the animation shows now. Going into a Category 3 hurricane. Trees are bending over and the tiles are coming off the roofs. And now category four. I'm not scaremongering here, I just want people to be as prepared as possible on a really small island. And a category five. Again it says here hundred and fifty knots. Category 5 hurricane is 137 knots or higher. That's 13 knots less than what it's currently recorded at. I just hope that uh, it doesn't hit Malapasqua with that force because there won't be a lot left. If you can get to a concrete building, you really must do that. The largest building there is Blue Corals. Um, and it looks fairly stable, so I might potentially go there. There'll also be a potential of three meters um, storm surge, where your tide will be three meters higher than it is normally. Now the tides should be at half tide at about 2 p.m. tomorrow on Friday, when the center of the storm crosses uh, near Malapasqua. So if you're by the ocean, uh, get away from the ocean, a lot of rain will be falling also, so uh, take care of any uh, loose mud that might get waterlogged and form a landslide inland. Um, dig a big hole if you can and hide. Thanks.